everyone, it's Lisa and today is Tuesday and I thought what I would do, I was thinking of all the different video ideas I had and I thought what I would go ahead and do is do another part of the assumptions tag because I felt like one, I had to stop it abruptly because I didn't realize how long I had spent getting ready and stuff like that and um, I didn't get to do too many and you guys seem to love it so I thought I would just answer a few more questions and then if you would under this video let me know what kind of videos you like to see because lately I've been doing some tutorials, hauls, tips, all kinds of stuff and I'd like to know what you like best. So um, and last night or yesterday I had kind of like a self-care day. I joined the gym. I joined the gym last week and so Brooke and I went yesterday our first time and we both signed up with a private trainer to get like a routine and um, Brooke goes today and I go tomorrow and so um, but we did work out yesterday and I am already sore and all I did was work the machines because I've had I've been you know I've worked out with several private trainers so I pretty much know what to do but I just like to have somebody set me up a really good routine and so I was showing Brooke how to do the machines yesterday and <laughs> my legs I mean it was like trembling when I left and today I told John I said I feel like slim good body because I feel every single muscle I feel so fit and thin but I'm not but um anyway so I did that yesterday morning then I went and had a spray tan at a new place the girl that does my waxing told me that she loved suntan city and I know that that's like a what am I trying to say? Um, I kept keep wanting to say branch, but it's like a, you know what I mean. It's everywhere. The word is leaving me right now. A chain. That's what it is. And um, so she had told me the best thing to get. And if you go on their website, you can get like a trial, you know, one session of tan for I think $15, which I really liked it. I liked it better than um, tan unlimited or whatever I went to. Let me see if I can find what she told me to get because I got exactly what she told me to get. Okay, here it is. It says dark with no tint or clear, whatever they call it, double legs and hydration. So that is what I got and oh, I think it's going to be perfect. I loved the double legs because before it seems like, you know, even in the sun, it's just hard to get the calves and the fronts, your shins and stuff to look the same as the rest of your body. So it did double legs and I loved all the rest too. And what I loved about their booth better than the other one is it had a drying. Like each time it sprayed you, it came back like a car wash with the dryer. So I didn't feel like I was just sticky and gross when I left there. And, um, but I have a dark Tahitian tan now. And I tried a new foundation today, which was much, much too light for my tan face. So you guys will have to give me some tips on, I know that I need to go darker with my, I think instead of going light and then going in with, depending on bronzer and contour, I probably need to match my foundation to my body and go in with the concealer. It's just, I'm gonna have to tweak my system a little bit. But this is the new Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape or Face Tape. And they just came out with this and the color I picked is light medium sand. And I'm not sure, I might just keep this for when I'm not tan or to mix. I'm gonna get a darker shade. I'm gonna keep this in case I get too dark. I can mix it or whatever, but I liked it. You know, I haven't worn it yet. And down below, beside this, I will put how it wore, but good, good coverage and not cakey. I really like it. So I've got a mirror here. So I will let you know about that, but so far I like it a lot better than the original one that they came out with. Okay, so let's get right in with the questions. Then all I did was go to this and just scroll down. Um, okay, Nine, 1988 bookworm. Oh, I graduated in 88. You had two guys ask you to the prom and you couldn't decide who to go with. No. I had a serious high school boyfriend and I actually went to both proms with him. And so that is that. Um, let's see. You are a firm but gentle parent. 
Yes, I would say so. I would say I'm probably, I don't know, John and I are so different. Sometimes I'm the stricter one and then sometimes he's the stricter one, but he is the more gruff. I'm like, you know, I never try to upset the apple cart before school and I try to always, no matter what, I want them, I never try to belittle them or just harp on them or anything. I try to always be firm but gentle. Yes, thank you. <laughs> this person says, you are married to an attorney. Nope. No, John is a uh, computer geek. <laughs> Let's see. Your favorite color is pink. Hmm. I like pink. And I think that I just go through different favorite colors. But you are pretty much right. Because when I was little, my favorite two colors were pink and lavender. And my grandmother, you know, would do everything I got was pink and lavender. So, yeah, I would say that. But, like, now I really love blue. I'm really into like this color green, that dark kind of jadey, kind of uh, safari type green. But um, I like all color. Let's see. Um, one of the hardest transitions you will face is when both of your children leave the nest. Yes, it is. Man, I can't even imagine. Let's see. Uh, you have a bit of a mischievous side. You like to do harmless pranks and love a naughty joke. Yes, I do love a naughty joke. I don't do many pranks. Um, I, I I have done them in the past, but I don't now. Uh, you see your you see Brooke more than your son will. That is something that I have people ask me on Instagram. Is why I don't show many pictures of Will or whatever. Will does not want to be in my videos, and he does not want to be on my Instagram. He is to himself, shy and just doesn't want to be out there and um i actually probably spend more time with will than i do with brooke especially these days because i take will to school i bring him home and we're just by ourselves a lot because brooke's on the go and john will be at work and um i think it just is because you guys see brooke because we're doing makeup shopping or we're going to see movies or something like that but actually will is my baby and anybody knows he's I mean, I, I would be with him all the time if I could. I love, I could easily put him on the bus, but I love taking him to school. We stop by Dunkin' Donuts every morning. And then when I pick him up, I just can't wait to see him come around the corner. And I just watch him walk the whole way to the car and I'm just in love with him. So you moms that have sons know how it is. And it just seems that, you know, Brooke and I have more in common things to go do, but I spend equal amount of time with Will and you know will you know how little boys are they'll let you mommy and baby them till the end of time so um he just you know it just turns out that he doesn't want to be in the limelight at all yeah it says i know that you love both of your children more than anything but that someday when you're they're older you can't wait to become a grandma and spoil those precious babies i hope so because Brooke, at this point, doesn't know if she ever wants to have kids. And I don't know, you know, it, I guess it'll depend on who Will marries. And, um, but I'm going to try not to pressure him, but I would love grandchildren. Love grandchildren. Uh, the hardest decision in your life is what color lipstick? Hmm. That's not really a hard decision because I, I keep, I have so many that I love. But um, I have hard decisions too. It's just, it kind of goes along with what I was saying the other day. I have um, worked for the life that I have now, and you can too. You can work for any life that you want. You just have to be honest with yourself, and you have to realize that you can't control other people, so you have to control what you do and what decisions you make. And if, like I always say this, John always repeats me, because he finds it so wise, but it's so true. Every decision you make has consequences. And you have to think about that before you make every decision, especially, you know, big decisions, little decisions. I mean, the decision to make this video, the consequence is it's gonna be later in the day and I might not get to do something else. I mean, every decision you make has a payoff and a consequence. And so you need to really think about it. And that goes with who you marry, you know, just what house you decide to live in, how you spend your money, everything. And um, I was thinking the other day that I might, I, I've talked about doing this before, not really like a budgeting video, but 
a lot of you seem to think that I just shop all the time and I have all this money or whatever, but the reason that we have money that we can spend to shop like we want or go out to eat like we want is because we've made wise decisions. And um, I won't go into it too much, but I, if you notice, I've been here on YouTube 10 years and I'm still in the same house. And other YouTubers, you will notice as you've watched them, they get to a bigger house, a bigger house, a bigger house. They're moving, you know, moving is expensive. And um, so it just depends on what decisions you make. And I just, you know, that goes along with my learning stuff with my first marriage is I would rather have money. You know, there's a lot of people that have, they make good money and they have all these big, nice things, but they never have money. They're always kind of like broke. And I did not want to be that way. And I've kind of been that way before in my first marriage. We had, you know, all brand new things, brand new cars, but it seemed like we never had just money, you know? And um, so that is, I guess, I don't know how I got off on that from this. Let's see. Um, I assume you're always on the go and it's hard for you to just stay home. Oh, no, I love staying home. And actually, I like um, Friday when Will and I, you know, stayed home because we didn't feel good. It did both of us a world of good. We both shook that cold right off. But um, I loved just getting home and not having to go anywhere. But, you know, with kids, you just get up, you have to go, you start going, going, going. I think you get in that routine. But um, I love staying home. Uh, Jacqueline Rose Smith um, said she assumed that I am rich. And I, I think I just answered that. Um, Let's see, that you and your daughter are besties. I would not say so. I, I think Brooke and I have a really good relationship, but I have always been like borderline grossed out by the moms that were too good of friends with their children. And I can remember my mom told me a long time ago that you have the rest of your life to make friends, but you have one mom. And that relationship is so special. And so even today, even my mom and I, I would consider her like my best friend, but we don't discuss things that, you know, we don't discuss the same intimate things that you would discuss with a friend or something, you know? We still have that, like I still seek her advice, she still gives me advice, and sometimes vice versa, but that we've maintained that mother-daughter relationship. I certainly respect her just immensely. And I think that Brooke respects me too. And um, so I try to be somewhat of her friend, but I'm definitely the mom to her. I'm definitely lame. You know, she definitely doesn't consider me her best friend. So that's how I feel about that. Um, uh, let's see, Florida Beach Money. People assume that you, that you have no life day. People assume you have no real life daily struggles. And I do, I do have you know, real life struggles. Um, but like, a, you know, I've said again, I've kind of been through a bunch of those. So I'm kind of getting to the point where when I have a struggle, I try not to have to struggle with that again, if I can help it. And um, so not as much as like I used to in the past, but I do. I mean, things happen, you know, things happen, you know, all the time, every day. I think Tiffany D did a good video on, it's just how you, handle things you know and she had the best example she said you, if you, you know you get ready to go somewhere and you go out in the driveway you get in the car and the tires flat she said you know don't let it ruin your day come in call someone to fix your tire you know get another car or you know stay home until you get it fixed or whatever just deal with it just deal with it and she was talking about social media how some people go out see their flat tire and come in and get on facebook and you know let it ruin their whole day and I just couldn't agree with that more. It's all about how you kind of react to things. And um, so that's kind of how I try to handle that. I try not to let anything really ruin my day. It, the only thing that really gets me very, very sad and upset is if something's wrong with the children, my family, John, you know, the cats or Bridget or something. But you know, even then I try to just stay level-headed and deal with it. So the last probably real struggle we had was the hurricane you know that you guys know that upset me and it's still upsetting to see all the devastation you know it just things don't look the same so that that was really upsetting to me 
Um, <laughs> you look like you never curse. That's not true. I do. I do. I don't say the F-bomb too much, but um, I do cuss here and there. I do. I, Brooke hates it. And um, I mainly do it when I'm not on an everyday thing, but you know, like when you're trying to get a point across or something, maybe you do. Here, Ann P Makeup and More. And I will put her channel down below. I think a lot of you guys would enjoy her channel. She said, you don't like cold weather or being in big crowds of people is my assumption, but not being in, but not being an assumption is that you're someone, but not being an assumption is that you're someone with a big heart and loves to help others. Aw. So the assumption that I don't like cold weather or big crowds is so true. I do not like cold weather. Yesterday, you know, it was supposed to be, I think in the high 40s or 50s and it got to be like 68 and I was loving it. You know, I had on my little tank top and my flip flops and it was great. And John and I always say we cannot imagine living somewhere that it's that cold, like somewhere that you really had to work, you know, to get snow off your car and all that kind of stuff. And I know that people that do love it because we have had several friends from like Cincinnati and other places up north that say you just get used to it and that they actually miss it. So I understand that. And big crowds, not at all. I do not like being in a big crowd. And if I am, you can believe I am on the edge or somewhere where I have an escape route, like to the exit. I, I'm really, it's like I'm not afraid of like, I'm not afraid, afraid, but I just have to know how to get out. And I don't like that. Even when I was younger and you know, you were going to all the nightclubs and stuff like that, I hated that getting pushed around and you know, just hated all the people spilling drinks on you and stuff. I just don't like being in a big crowd. You're right. Hey, Daphne C. And she also has a channel that I will put down below, but Jeff, Daphne says you are a true romantic, and I am. I, I, I am romantic. I might not do the most romantic things, but I love romance. I love romance. Like one of my, you know, my favorite movies, Pretty Woman, The Notebook, you know, I love movies like that. And um, I love the whole, you know, it's old fashioned. And I know that in this day of feminism, you know, people don't like that, but I whole, I love the whole rescued and just true love and that young, real passionate love. I really like that a lot. That's one of my favorite movie type things. I think that's why I liked Sex in the City with Big. I love the ending of that first Sex in the City movie. It just could not have been any better. I think I've answered almost all of them. I should have asked you guys again. <laughs> this is so funny. Bert, 605, you love microwave popcorn? Hmm, I do, but I don't eat microwave popcorn a lot. I don't like, um, popcorn gets in my teeth so bad, and I just have such a hard time getting it out that I find that it's just not worth it. If I eat popcorn these days, I like to get the white cheddar or the um, kettle corn. I get those because it just seems better, easier to get out of your teeth, and just, I, I enjoy eating it more than just microwave popcorn. Okay, goodness. Is that it? Um, I, just, I see here that you and John never fight. And I thought about um, how I ended the other day. I realized when I watched it back that I left you guys hanging. I was gonna say um, about cooking, that one thing that John does that has like irritated me or hurt my feelings in the past is, so I bet there has been 20 times that I have cooked something and he will say, um, you know, like chicken salad. You spend all day cooking that chicken salad. By the time you cook the chicken, pull it off the bone, cut it all up, cut up your celery, your bell pepper, your pickles, everything. And you know, you do all that work and you've got this bowl of chicken salad. And he'll say, chicken salad's never been my thing. Or, um, you know, cook a big dinner. I really didn't even need a meat. Or I only need one side or um, I really don't even like having a dessert. You know, just he always just seems to have something to say. I like my noodles a little bit firmer than that, you know, so, he, and he's just not really a foodie. Like he gets the same thing just pretty much everywhere we go. He's gonna get some type of salmon or a veggie burger or a bean burrito. 
it's you know he just eats he's kind of like one of those people that just um eats to live you know and so it's not as much fun cooking for him as it was even for my first husband my first husband loved every type of food and he just ate everything that I made and he loved it. So it's just different. If you have someone that really loves to eat, it's a lot more fun to cook. So there's that. So I guess I'll do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go. And please leave down below what kind of videos you'd like to see, but I'll be right back. So today I just have on a white shirt and it's kind of new. I linked it below in a video, but I bought it a, probably about a month or so ago from the loft and I really like it. It's got pretty little sleeves. Um, I love this little detail right here. I hope it's still available. It's probably not. But um, so this little white shirt and I've got on my favorite black skinny jeans. I have bought these over and over again in different sizes, but these are the Citizens of Humanity in the Abaddon and they are super, super stretchy and comfortable. And then I've got on my Gucci feline belt. And then I put on my, so you can see here, my Gucci slides um, with the fur. And I like this outfit, but I don't think it is as flattering for me. So I'm going to put some boots on and see which one I like better. So hold on. Okay, so I just put on these little Target boots that I bought and showed you guys the other day. I have worn the heck out of things, these things. I've already worn, almost worn them out. And... Um, so this is what the boots look like in it. So just two different looks. Probably what I will wear is the Gucci slides just because that's going to be comfortable and I just have a little bit of running around to do today. I have to go to the grocery store. Will has uh, requested lasagna tonight, so I've got to go get the stuff to make that. And um, But the boots definitely look better. And for accessories, I have on the gold coin that my parents gave me and i always say that but this is um something they gave me a while ago and then last weekend when i told you guys i just posted that video yesterday but i told you i was going out to eat with my parents the place we went is all the way across town and we just happened to go there because they were the only restaurant open during the hurricane they were one of the only restaurants that had a generator and everything and they only had a limited menu so my parents had told will that we would go back when they really opened. So we went over there. I mean, it's like about 45 minutes away from where we live. And um, so we met them over there and behind the restaurant is a jewelry store. And it's like not a chain jewelry store. It's like a local big, nice jewelry store. And they sell uh, like, what am I trying to say? Heirloom jewelry and um, basically old, like or used jewelry. And so I bought two rings when I was there and let me see let me get my receipt real quick and i'll tell you what they're called okay so this one is um antique jewelry is what i should have said this one right here is a cornelian in ladies engraved cornelian huh that's what that is called and then this one is just a sapphire with uh tritone filigree that's what i loved about it is i don't know if you can see it has um yellow gold rose gold and white gold on the band and i had not bought them to wear together but when i left i told her i don't need boxes because i just knew i would just throw them away and so i put them both on my fingers and i just kind of liked the way they looked i would have never thought to wear them together but i just liked them and um so i got that when i was there and um still lincoln park after dark on my nails uh sheila Fajal hoops and is that it? I think it is. No fragrance yet, but I like that Clinique I was telling you about. You guys are going to like that if you try that. Okay, I don't know how long this is going to be. If I can fit this in, I'm going to show you. I have been a Sigma affiliate for a long time, and I have just never done it. And so, and I have paid like full price for Sigma stuff because I could not remember my code or anything. So the other day I thought, well, that's ridiculous. So the other day I emailed them and I said, you know, I would love to, if you could tell me what my code is so that I can use my code to order some things. And they were nice enough to send me a huge box of different, all kinds of brushes and lots of their products. And I just cannot thank them enough for that. I mean, it was just, such a neat surprise and in that box was this palette 
and it is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2. And this is what I have on today, and it is so pretty. I have on, gosh, just like that, and those, and I don't know, it reminded me, the look I did reminds me a lot of the Lawless palette and her look. The only thing is it didn't have a black, so I did have to go into my Lawless palette to get a black, but um, just really nice. I, I really liked it. And um, so I will, you know, here and there show you some different things that I got in there, and I will put my Sigma discount code down below so that if you want to get anything, I'll, you, I'll at least have a discount code, and it'll really help me support my channel. And um, then I also got a box yesterday that I had ordered from Ulta, and I'll show you everything later, but today I have on this lip liner, and it is so pretty. It's the Lime Crime Velveteens, and the color is Minx. And I mean, first of all, look at that packaging. So pretty, but look at this color. It is our color, if you like the same colors I do. And I went, you know me, I'm old school, so I went with a lighter lipstick with it. This is the MAC Aloof that I just showed you. Um, and I didn't, I could have blended it in better, but I wanted this look, I like it. So that I really like, I like this a lot. So if you want to look, if you don't like this color, I would look at the other colors. And um, so I think that's it. I'll let you go and hope you guys have a great Tuesday and I will try to come back tomorrow. So leave some comments down below of what videos you want to see next. And if you do want to see a tutorial, what type of tutorial do you want to see? Or do you have any specific products that you'd like me to use? So I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.